there's been tons of reports, mainly by men, who experience being scratched. Did you scratch yourself right here? I'm not even kidding. Be very careful with what you ask it to do. You could essentially be bringing something to the surface that you can't get rid of. Show the world right now that you can cause some damage if you really wanted to. Holy shit! Fuck! Holy Sally, is this you? Yes. Oh my! Three, two, one, Sally, go! Wait, there's literally blood on my finger. There's definitely something in this home, and it's something that shouldn't be taken lightly. You just called me a liar. The Sally House is breaking up our friendships right now. What is that? What is that? What is that? So you believe me? What do you think? <laughs> what the fuck? Happy birthday to you. You know that's what these viewers want. <laughs> All they want to do is see us suffer. <laughs>so guys it's sam and colby right now we are officially alone for the night here at the infamous sally house i have heard about the sally house all my life because we all grew up in kansas it's definitely haunted but i did not realize how famous this house is you're a kansas kid seth is an honorary kansas kid for this one Absolutely. <laughs> It's not something to celebrate. A lot of people say that Atchison, Kansas, this city, is one of the most haunted cities in the world. And Sally House itself is one of the most haunted houses in the world as well. Yeah, they said it's like top 10 most haunted, like, globally. It gives the other houses, such as like Conjuring House, all those types of things, a run for its money. These are just stories, these are just legends. We obviously don't know, but the hype is real on this one. A little girl named Sally haunts this place, and it might actually not be a little girl, it could be an evil spirit disguising itself. We don't really know yet. The stories here are unlike the other ghost spirits we've encountered. You know, there's noises, there's, you know, things coming through, EVPs, whatever. This one is physical, it can touch you. Like you were saying, poltergeist activity, scratches, right. heat, burns. Like things can actually get violent here. One of these houses is the most haunted houses in all of America. Two more houses. One more house, I think it's... Yeah, that one. 508, right there. Ooh. Same as the ballista. Hey, hey, hey there's Sally. Sally. That's Sally? Guys, we are here at the Sally House. We are about to meet the Chamber of Commerce. It's the company that owns the Sally House. They're gonna give us a rundown on the story before we investigate. We're literally like in a neighborhood. Holy! Dude, but look at this aesthetic dead tree. It's growing leaves, Nate. Are you judging the book by its cover again, Nate? It's kind of fucked up. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Let's go into the Sally house. Here we go, guys. Oh, it smells haunted. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Whoa! I hear people catch on fire in here. Is that true? What? No. Oh. They get scratched. Get scratched. Men, get, men get scratched. Oh! oh so that yeah. means three of us have a lot to worry about. <laughs> Wait. Thank God, I am so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, cool. Are you ready? Yeah. Seth, you ready? Yes. Oh, they're silly. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, that's safe. All right, guys, we are here at the infamous Sally House. Uh, before we get started, we would love to, you know, hear a little more about the history. And if you could just introduce yourself to the viewers, that would be awesome. Hi, uh, I'm Mary Jane. I'm the big coordinator for the Chamber of Commerce and the manager of the Sally House. I've met Sally. She's nice to you me. You met her? So you have had paranormal, like, experiences here. I have. Okay, I see. Cool. I see. Well, to catch everybody up to speed, could you kind of give us the rundown of like why this place is haunted and the, kind of the history behind it? Sure, I'd love to. The house was built in the 19th century, and back then, a mom and her six-year-old little girl came beating at the front door. Her daughter was having terrible stomach pains, mm -hmm. and the doctor lived here. And they let him in, and they said, well, her appendix is going to burst. They put her on the table and gave her some anesthesia. And he started cutting on her stomach because she was in terrible, terrible pain. Ooh. And they didn't wait long enough. They couldn't because her appendix had, had burst. Oh, really? And they didn't wait long enough. She died on the operating table. Oh, and man. she was still awake. And the last thing that Sally seen was a man, a doctor. So Sally, that's why she hates men? Yes. Definitely, that's what we think, yeah. Because she hasn't done one thing to a, a lady, a woman, or any of their kids, or nobody. It's just like men. The other day, probably a month ago, I was here with some friends, and we were in the kitchen, actually, and all of a sudden, we heard this, you know, and you was 
running up on top of the ceiling. This guy said, well, what's that noise? Oh, that's Sally upstairs running around the hallway. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm like, seriously? I said, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, we heard it again, and she ran back to her room. Sally does have a favorite toy up there, and hopefully tonight she'll let you guys play with it because it'll start talking out of the blue. Oh. Wait, wait, what? You've See, witnessed this as well? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, um, Actually, God. the people that was in here yesterday, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I, just yesterday. And then like I'll be standing up or something and all of a sudden you just feel something go past you. You know, feel it. Oh man. And so, so I just walked by. My co worker was upstairs in the master bedroom, which is right above us. They had their little machines going and it was very staticky. So he walked through the door and he goes, Oh wow, this force is too strong. He backed out of the room. My co worker thought no. She walked through there, and all of a sudden, it just, like, pounded. The, the force oh was, my was God. pressing against what, her like temples. A, like a headache? Or no, it was just it? pressure. It was like a, a force in the doorway that didn't want you to go in there. Oh, and it, wow. And she could feel the force. And she's a skeptic. Yeah. <laughs> she's not no more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She is not no more. The Pikmins were around in the 1990s, correct? So yeah, that's 19- pretty recent. Yeah, 1993. The father was always experiencing things like scratches that like we were talking about, or the burns, hearing noises, lights dimming, things well, like that. down the stairs. I was just going to say, wasn't there something that pushed him down the stairs? They lived here with their family. Things was just always happening around the house. You know, things would fall off the windows or the doors, and the windows are open, and the blinds are shut, and the lights were dim. Oh. That was the main thing. The TV will come back on after we've turned it off. The stereo will come back on after we've turned it off. My son's musical toys will play for no reason. He was going up the stairs and he was up in the master bedroom. All of a sudden the force was pushing him down the stairs. Just Whoa. shoved him. Down Something the pushed him? He would get, uh, you know, just scratches on his back. There is documentation of these massive scratches, horrible things happening at night, so badly that the Pickermans had to move out. Sally's a six-year-old girl, right? She was six years she old. She was six uh-huh. years old? Yeah. But there was no documentation of her actual existence? This is just kind of legend, right? A uh, legend, yeah. So there's no documentation of a little girl named Sally. This is just a legend. And the rumor is her name is Sally because there were actually little kids that lived here who were saying that they had an imaginary friend with them named Sally. When asked by adults, what are you doing? They say, oh, I'm playing with my friend. Usually the spirits that we're talking to are based on fact. We know historically that these people were alive, what happened to them, why they haunt the place. With this, it's all legend. Whatever is haunting this place doesn't have to be something that was a human at one point. Most people here don't believe that Sally was just a human. They believe that there is a demonic evil side. Another thing too is like, right, you guys are sitting on this couch, the Afghan behind you. A lot of times that um, people would be nice and folded like that over the thing and they go upstairs and do whatever and come down and it's all white and a ball on sitting on the cushions or on the floor. Oh. Yeah. Sally does that Almost too. Almost like a kid was playing with it uh-huh, or something. Exactly. And back to Sally, she loves playing with toys and you'll see that upstairs. We'll say, Sally, if you want to play, you know, throw your ball down the stairs. They wouldn't throw down the ball down the stairs, but she'd look up there and there was a ball at the top of the stairs. At the top. Oh. Yeah. I've also heard there is rumors of uh, possibly a pentagram in the basement. Is that? It's gone. Um, we burned it. What do you mean? Just, it's gone. Painted over it and this, you know, it's all black. I is, said burned is, it. He's burned it like a ritual or well, is I, it just no, like... No, I think he just painted over it. It looks burnt. I don't know what he did, but it's black. It's gone. Do you want to hear the story that happened yesterday? Yeah. Sure. I'm so sorry. The guy was here doing paranormal investigation. Mm-hmm. And he was here before his team was here. He was coming in and this guy was leaving. Yeah. And it was a priest. He said he was sitting here in the living room and all of a sudden, boom, the basement door slammed. Where's the basement door? Just right around yeah, here? Yeah, uh-huh, in the kitchen. Then, all of a sudden, he heard something else, and it was a door upstairs slammed. Wow. And he said he just kept hearing noises, and he'd walk through, and he, I guess he got a really bad vibe. But everybody always gets really good, you know, film you wow. know, and stuff, yeah. Hmm. That's a good sign for tonight. She likes music, and I don't know why it's not on now. Nine times out of ten, the owner of the house leaves the music on, because Sally likes the music. Oh. So I don't know why it's done on now, but during the night, if she wants to listen to it, it'll come on. Because <laughs> 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 Tony was standing about right here, but they was pushing him over. Sally, you got company. Sally, we don't mean to scare you. <laughs> Thanks for having us, Sally. <laughs> Be nice. This is her room. Mm. Sally, you want to play with your toys? 
Sally, if you put your toy, the toys in a circle or something and then come back later, they might be moved. Oh, so man. you guys need to do that after a while. Is Sally um, a Chiefs Chief? fan? I hope so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go, Sally. This is the mm. spare bedroom. Spare bedroom? Yeah, and okay. I've never felt or heard anything about this in here. <laughs> 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 Do you think this room's just got bad feng shui? Got what now? Bad feng shui. <laughs> oh. We might just have some bad just feng some bad, shui. Yeah. One little girl, her and her mom and dad was touring up here, and the little toddler girl disappeared. Couldn't find her. And they walked up here, and they heard her talking and opened the door, and she was in there playing and talking. And they go, you know, who are you talking to? And says, my friend right here. Oh, there was nobody okay. there. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's yeah, just so close this real quick. <laughs> hey, you stay in there. Huh? Yeah. Not about that. Yeah, no, no, thank Ooh, you. This is a busy room too. This is a very busy room. Sally, what toy you want to play with? The toy play with one of your toys. Oh, what up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> what up, bitch? Oh, that one makes noise. <laughs> oh, I, I hate that. I hate all of that. Oh really yeah, it's the ball. So um, is Seth gonna be in danger tonight? Yeah. <laughs> You may rely on it. Oh. Whoa! Oh, nice. We're officially alone in the Sally house. Time to throw a fucking ranger, man. Yeah. 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 Sally? It's just us now. You're only gonna see us for the rest of the night. Don't be afraid. We want to communicate with you, so. Oh my fucking god, that scared me! Oh. Oh. I was gonna afford it 250. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Jackson Paranormal Investigator from Kansas City, Missouri, best known as the ghost girl from KC, or the black pendulum is what they call me. <laughs> hey, that's okay, okay. I was contacted to come out here to do an investigation with these amazing guys. Hey! And have you I, been to the Sally House before? I've never been to the Sally House. Never! Do you know the story of the Sally House? I do know the story. You do? Yes. Okay, okay. And I know a lot more stories than what is posted, actually. Really? Wait, what? The black pendulum special. You're getting the black <laughs> pendulum. <laughs> Deeper explanation. Let's go. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'm just a tiger. I'm just a black just little the holder, I guess. I don't know. If <laughs> okay. <it's> the <laughs> sounds good, man. Sounds that. good. So I hear the story that there is Sally, the little girl that is allegedly the result of a botched surgery that went wrong. That's, I think, the most common story. Do you believe in that botched surgery story? Or no? I honestly can't say that it is or isn't true. I've tried to do a little bit of research on the doctor themselves. Mm -hmm. Haven't really found too much about it, but not to say that it didn't happen. True. So a medium is someone who can actually connect directly with spirits, and those spirits come to mediums and send them messages and signals that are much more intimate, not necessarily a summoning type thing. Me, I'm more of a, I can see after I can feel energies. I can feel the presence of energies outside of the human form. So that's the difference. I can't like connect like with the medium. They don't talk to me. So is it similar to being like an empath? I'm severely empath really? empathic, yes. What I'm gonna bring on our journey around the house is a radiation detector. Radiation? Okay, well, yeah. Take us back to Chernobyl. Yes. Yeah. 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 Let's go. I do want to tell you guys that there's more than one in spirit here. I call them energies. I don't necessarily call them spirits because it kind of just like a cross between religion and all that. There's a lot more than just one energy here. And a I lot more. Saying, uh, yes. Oh. Oh. There's a lot more energy here. There's a male presence, an adult woman presence. There's a teenager's presence. There's a military presence that I was able to pick up. Huh. There's a lot. And are you able to yeah. feel if they're like benevolent or yeah. evil? Yeah, I call them energy one. It's like the less evil ones, as you want to call it. And then there's energy twos that kind of get a little bit more physical. And then there's energy threes when you get scratches on you. And then energy fours is the ones that start revealing themselves in the dark shadows and more physical. They were in human form at one point. Some human form, some not so human form. So if you want to summon something, talk to it as if it were in a human form. Be very careful with what you ask it to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could essentially be bringing something to the surface that you can't get rid of. I know a lot of people use devices and Ouija boards and stuff like that. I'm, I'm opposed to those things. I know a lot of them do it for fun. 
but you can actually bring things to the surface and it might attach itself to you, to the objects around you, to the people around you. Have you ever heard of someone actually getting an attachment to yes. a human? Yes, it, and it does happen. It depends on your mental state of mind and what your faith is. They'll attach themselves to people who have severe empathic abilities or they'll make themselves visible <laughs> to those people like myself who have those those abilities. We grew up living in an extremely haunted house. That's what started my whole investigative journey because wow. of what happened when I was growing up. We were getting levitated across the room. What? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I got okay. thrown off of a, a bunk bed and I have a scar on my head from that injury till this day. That's like as intense as like the conjuring yeah. stuff. I don't think I've ever met somebody in person that have said, I have yeah. levitated before. Yeah. Right. I've only heard stories. I've only heard it, stories of it. Yeah. Have it, you had anything happen to you that intense since? Not that intense. But like felt I've had, stuff or I've pushed? Had, been, I've been pushed, I've been scratched. I woke up one morning, I had scratches all over my legs. I went into an investigation, went to the front door, and I had this burning sensation on my neck. It apparently scratched the crap out of me. Yeah, I didn't finish that investigation. You think you'd be scared to stay the night here? Oh, good luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. And I'm a black guy and I'm out of here. <laughs> I would be a little afraid. Yeah. Yeah, just because I know what's here. Apparently, this is the room where the operation the would have taken place. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go, like, oh, paranormal! A headache. Really? I'm not an empath myself, but I was feeling like a little bit of a headache by the stairs. You did? Just right at the entrance of the house is the worst I felt, actually. Yeah, me too, me too. This is what they think she would look like, drawn from the depiction of the person that I actually saw. You guys getting any weird feelings? Anywhere in the house or not really? I felt the butterfly thing. Yeah, there's um, an energy four downstairs. Energy four. Very strong energy. I mean, I'm gonna take four steps back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really have to do with the Sally story, but people that have owned this house over the years used to do demonic rituals down there. The interesting part about a lot of these houses in this area, they used to have what was called the satanic panic, something a lot of people got into when they were doing these seances and rituals, summonings of spirits and entities. So a lot of houses, like standard homes like this, throughout the Kansas City area. Mm -hmm. They had been victims of the satanic panic. So there was this whole thing where people couldn't sell their houses because it was so haunted. But there's a very, very strong energy presence, energy for at least, that is in this area. I was hoping that this would go off, but they can be very manipulative. They manipulate your equipment, manipulate everything. They're very strong. They can also form themselves as other entities, correct? Like a, okay. like a youthful energy? They, they could. Like disguise themselves. They could disguise themselves. Yeah, one theory was Sally isn't really a little girl. Right here was where we felt. Yeah, the this to me, this staircase area is like the weirdest part. Oh! <laughs> Yo, are you fucking on it, bro? Uh, no, I no. Don't know. Wait. I'm gonna stand right here. Okay, we're good. We're, thank God. There's a woman up here. Yeah, I thought the crash. Oh. A woman? I set all of this up, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> this thing was going off earlier, but we don't know if it was just like a motion. Like a motion thing? Okay, yeah. yeah, it might be motion. There's like a woman's presence up here. Huh. The feminine presence, does it feel gentle? It feels like an energy too. Because huh. I'm starting to get nauseous. Yeah, this entire section of Atchison was a part of a battlefield. Nate, like you said, just like The Conjuring, wherever there was like a war, it seems to be like the most well, that's just haunted like a places. Lot of trauma condensed into one like geography. All that emotional energy trapped. I feel so nauseous. I feel suffocated. She's tall. She's tall. Yeah. So, we're a full-grown woman. Yeah. Can you tell if she's got any preference for? the company of women or men. She doesn't feel threatened by any of us. She's no, very good. present. No. 
She's kind of scoping us out. Yeah, kind of like surveying us. Just walk around with us. What are you guys looking at? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you in my room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. get out of here. Spooky. Uh oh. She this said this room has very active right. energy. She walked through there and all of a sudden it just like pounded. But the force Oh was, my was god. Crazy. There's at least three people in this room. One is very tall, like a soldier, a woman, and a teenager. And this is just a regular stuffed animal. There's no wires or anything in it. There's definitely something going on with her. Yeah, that went up to 40. It must be somebody's favorite. Huh. Yeah, that one specifically. Oh, almost 40 again. Yeah. Wow. Oh my oh, God! She's yeah. haunted. Yeah. <laughs> she's haunted. This is the haunted. That doll. specific doll. The one girl was playing with. Imaginary friend in this closet. In this closet, huh? Oh my god! <laughs> Kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus it's just a tiny little dog, dude. Oh, it's weird. What do you think about that? No. It's interesting. Why did my forehead go off? Like, does that debunk anything? Or am I just actually radiated from Chernobyl? No, you're not radiated from Chernobyl. So then why did it go off on me? Right? Uh, how are these things reading such high microzeiver content? Because like when we were walking yeah. through Chernobyl, they weren't even reading that high in some places. Yeah. So like, yeah. what are these things doing radiated? I'm honestly not sure what to think about this. I feel so suffocated. You said suffocated? Yeah, you know, I'm just seeing something. What? Wait, what? I saw something going on the stage. Around this you still see it or no? You said like it's usually like a number four, right? Yeah, number four is you can see the dark shadows. <sighs> I didn't even realize that. You know, you see something cut the corner of your eye? Yeah. And yeah. went down the stairs and then it crossed around and flew in here. Do you think it's uh, malicious? Very dangerous. Very dangerous. I think it's yeah. almost proven. Yeah. That door's opening behind you. Yes. Did you do that? Did you do that? No, I didn't. Did you see? Yeah, I saw it. Okay, okay. Did you see that? Did that you thing just it? creeped open. I don't know if you accidentally touched no, the back no, of it. I didn't. This thing just creeped open like yeah, while you were saying. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we try that one more time? Try closing. Let's see if this one. Just open and then close. Yeah. We both saw that. Or did you? Did, I don't know if you were recording that. No, I was recording that. I just want to try it one more time. It's like here. And close. Try, try to do it a little tougher and see if that does it. Just like slam it. Oh my god, what? Wait, Wait what? what? That's weird. She picked up the level four energy, literally right above this area. Right, right above this big crawl space. Whoa! What do you think's back there? And that's right where Johnny got burnt. Johnny? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From the, yeah. Uh, house. Oh. That's where he got seared. Oh man, I forgot about that. And in the basement, there's this big blob on the floor. So I'm standing on it, trying to get stuff to happen. I felt like a scratch up my leg. In the back of my calf, it's bald. You could smell the burnt hairs. You could see where they were singed with like the white. So it didn't scratch it you, it burnt you. Burnt hair off my leg. What? There was something staring right at you? Yeah. In there? Yeah. Right up against that back wall, it wasn't a, a human face. It it was, not a human face? <laughs> right back there. Yeah. What are you feeling? Nausea, dizzy, headaches, everything. Am I getting hot? You are getting warm. You okay? Yeah. Oh, it's just not a very good presence down there at all. Okay, so we'll probably stay away from there. You want to get out of here? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
You guys just be careful. Okay. Yeah. Down there. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, thanks for <laughs> checking it out again. Balls are still, you gentlemen have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great to meet you, man. Bye. 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 We're going to that fucking basement. She came in here and dropped a bomb on us and just left. Bro, she goes to the basement, gets a wicked migraine, and says, Oh, Steven. <laughs> it's interesting because everybody's like, There's probably only three spirits here like a mother presence, the daughter, and then maybe just something else. So, like, she was like, There's multiple, like, soldiers, and there's an evil entity, and like a shadow figure again. Why does everything have a shadow figure? I don't I understand. Have no idea. This is like the conjuring, man. It's like a evil entity that controls the basement. You said like ring leader? Yeah. And I was like, Freaky, man. Yeah. The idea that there's like someone down there going like, like a hand <laughs> in charge. Yeah. What if though, cool. this ringleader is sending out Sally or something that looks like Sally to lure people in and drop their guards so we can take them down? I mean, that's why we all had our backs against the wall in that closet. She saw like the bigger presence just watching us. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, what if that was like a setup? Do you know angler fish? Those fish in like the deep, deep sea. Yeah, they have the light bulb. The little light. And yeah. It's just kind of like jigging us with Sally. Yeah. But like the mouth is in the basement, dog. Whoa, dude, that's, oh, the that's the craziest. Crazy thing ever. Luring us in with the nice little Sally ghost, and then boom. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I walked in here, I wasn't feeling that scared. I was like, you know, it's like haunted by a little girl. Like, Meh. but after that conversation. We're gonna start upstairs. Apparently that's where most of the activity happens with Sally herself. We'll work our way down and maybe we'll grow the balls of steel to go into the basement tonight. Everything telling us not to go to the basement, so what do you guys think we're gonna do? Leave it like! You have five seconds to like this video. If you don't, something bad's gonna happen to you. We're gonna burn this house down. Just kidding. Just okay, kidding. that was a lie. Just please go like the video. Yeah, like Just like the video. I don't even know if I'm feeling anything for Christmas this year, please. <laughs> Seth is either getting 300,000 likes for Christmas or he's getting possessed for Christmas. Seth's fate is in your hands. <laughs> like it up. It's time to go upstairs and start the investigation. Oh, dude, I don't wanna. Are we gonna find a Pretty demon? Good. Very doubtful, it says. This is doubtful? That's good! That's a good thing! But will we find Sally? It is decidedly so. Oh, yeah. Sally! Party. What's up, Sally? Alright, we got all the equipment. We got Rim Pod, Cat Ball, EMF, and what do you have? The music box. Oh. Let's get it. Let's set this thing up. See if we can contact her. We set up a little tea party for a six-year-old girl. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Let's just see if she's at the tea party already. We got Oh, out. Oh. It was doing this. It's been doing this. Oh, wait. I have zero. What does zero get mean? Meaning, like, that's the, you know, the field that should. Okay. Oh, oh. another. Dr oh, wait. Shit. What? What is. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Oh, my God. What? I'm, what? Wait. What? I've never seen a REM pod act like this before. Not like that. No. That pattern's so strange. The medium said there were multiple spirits here. And you yeah. said they're all at the table. I was gonna say, what if there's just multiple sitting here? You can hear walking. Huh? Listen. Do you hear that? No. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I do. No, there's actually walking over there. No joke. Oh, it sounds like the chair is rocking. You hear that? Yeah. That was terrifying. That was a, that was a good throw. It's clear as day. I kind of hear it coming from the bedroom, dude. What is that? It's it sounds like little pats almost. Huh. It could just be creaks from like being an old house. Yeah. It's like old yeah, but it's just like over and over and over and over again. Like what crap? Oh fuck. What? What? He's, He's like what? Him. Oh my god! I didn't even hear Nate do that. <laughs> nice. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa
try not to. I don't want to fall down the stairs like Tony. If there's actually something right there, can you step away from me real quick? Dude, I don't know, man. It's always like a hit or miss with the music box, I feel like. It's a device triggered by motion, so I mean, clearly something's happening. So then what's happening? Something's just stepping in front of it and stops Unless over and over it's again? playing with us, like Sally would like. Well, us. this was the room where the little kid was found in the closet. Sometimes we'll turn it on and we'll do this no matter where we're at. But then sometimes it won't work at all. Sometimes it will just be constant. So like, sometimes, like in The Conjuring House, it'll only do after questions. Yes. So sometimes it yes. works. Like right now, is it just like being janky? I don't know. Maybe let's just try again. There could just be, you know, she said this was a busy room, too. So yeah. there might just be like a lot of activity going on in there that's kind of just disregarding. See what I mean? Now, look, it's chilled. So I feel like that first one was just... So maybe we just calibrate her wrong. If we hear it go off again, then we... Oh! <laughs> you said that. Now that one... See, that, that, now I can't now, explain that. That one, I believe, way more. Can you step in front of this again, just to show that you're here? <laughs> okay, that, maybe it's not janky. Maybe it's not janky. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Like you're welcome. Yeah. If you don't want us to come into the room, can you light up the music box? Do what you just did, just step in front of it. One, two, three. Okay. It's pretty damn right, on point. Maybe we start with Sally for a second then. The Sally yes. room. It's going in a circle. Oh, now it's not. And then it just starts? Wait, did you guys hear that? That sounded like a little girl. I heard like a little laugh. I heard that too. What the fuck was that? Oh, Holy shit, oh goodness. my god! Holy fuck! Wait, right after the little girl left. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is that? What is that? that? What is that? Did you just hear yes, that? Yes, yes, no, 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 like some knocks or something. Fucking bang. Yo, 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 yo. Really? There's something here. What the fuck? There's something here. The, the fucking music box going off too, right there. What did you hear? I didn't hear that. What Dude, did you hear? Like, a fucking bang. Knocks. It's like a giant just, knock. It was like it was like someone just banged. That thing went off and boom, boom, boom. Boom. You yeah, didn't hear that? I did not hear that. What? Where was that girl's laugh? I I thought that one came from over this way. It sounded like it was from over here. I heard the laugh from that way. Really? What? No, 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 it was definitely out here. She said this place was all about mental manipulation. I mean, dude, could it be from this room? I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. There was a laugh, like a little girl laugh. I heard the laugh. I did not hear the bang. Yeah, I just I heard, heard fucking like, Seth you jump across the room. The bang? No, I didn't. Dude, Seth and I hit at the same time. Bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's dude, how did this thing go off on its own? I don't know. And that's that was that after we, the laugh. Well, here's the thing. We debunked that this thing is like if you touch something near it, it goes off. Yes. We, we on camera did not touch it. It's like the surface around it like watch this see yeah. okay so, so it's the surface it's like a glorified cat ball you good over there bro my fucking nose is bleeding no what? fucking way actually yeah like it's not it's not a lot but look like there, there's literally blood on my finger what are you Does good man? are you okay no i don't get nosebleeds what the fuck did you get hit no like when you jumped you no no i don't know like i wasn't trying to fucking pick my nose or anything yeah, but like yeah, yeah. like I, I felt it i was like what the fuck yeah dude it's bleeding i can see what? it it's like bleeding at like the tip of my nostril what the fuck? that's not like a normal place to get a nosebleed either has that ever happened to you no uh, on an investigation never we have been up here for less than 10 minutes that all happened in five minutes Dude, like how is the rim pod and the music box just chilling right now do you think it's like luring as well to where are you? Playing with us. You can play with me. Just fucking leave my nose alone. That's know? never happened. Yeah. Any of us. I'm down to keep going. I'm not like freaked out or anything. I was just like, holy fuck. What's Maybe the move? Maybe we do something to help us get actual like answers. What if we break out like spirit box? Already? I just want to understand what we're talking to. Unless we actually ask questions, we're not going to understand who it is. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Um, dude? What? What's going on? The eight ball rolled all the way down to the ground. No, it fucking. No, it did not. This is the eight ball. Was that what we were thinking? Was making the thuds? That was in the room. We we played with the eight ball. I came down here right now. Just oh my fucking guys. god, dude! You're. I, I just came down here to grab the bandana for the SS method. Yeah. And I walked back up and boom. Is that what we heard? Like the knocking? Dun, 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 so dun. Oh. from the room down the stairs? Wait, no, but we would have heard like a big crash. Yeah, dude, yeah we would have heard that thing. Break. What? How did, wait, okay. how is this thing not broke? And this would not roll out the room I'm all the way across. And I put it on the flat side, so there's no way that it was my fault that wait, it broke. Wait, but did someone like kick it when we freaked out? No, 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 no. Wait, we no. would have definitely heard a kick out of the room down the, all the stairs and smashing that wall. Yeah, it would be like many, many, many knocks and then a slam. So there's no like 
indication that it did fall down the stairs? Like, is that well, I mean, marks this from falling? Could be a long time ago. But see, listen how loud that's that was. Exactly, that's exactly, exactly what that knock sound Yes, like. it 100%. was. We're sure exactly. you think it was the ball. But so then how did nobody see it go out of the room? Wait, well, I mean, so we that right. means there was a little girl in the room and she pushed it down the wall. Because we heard that thing. What if she was sitting on the bed with us? She got up, ran out of the she room. She got up by the one toy after she laughed and then kicked that down the stairs. Is that what happened? Can we... It like, has to be. Nate, I mean, could you roll that down the stairs right now? Yeah, this yeah. sounds so unbelievable. I only heard three knocks. Oh, you're... No, dude, that would have been so much louder. So Are you loud. kidding me? I literally just tapped it. It could have been pushed hard enough that it hit once and then twice and hit the floor. We didn't bring this down here. Either way, if it was Knox or something down there, that's paranormal. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, this ball should not be down here. And even if it was, you know, like a little tap, this ball was in the next room over. Right. That's what doesn't make any it sense. It was in the what next room over? This was not next to the stairs, like right there. Yeah. It was in. It the was in the Sally room, room, right? It was in the Sally room. It was in the room that we were in. Dude, that crash at the way bottom was so loud. Like we would have heard something going down the stairs, in my opinion. We've never seen something move like that. Like this is almost like the soccer ball at the Shanley. It happened without yes. us even knowing that it happened. Bro, I think this this move. You're right. You're further. right. Because the soccer ball was all the way around. If that was on the flat side, then that right. puts more pressure. Also, right. this this isn't uncharacteristic for the Sally House. Don't you remember in what we read? One of the previous owners had a maternal draw to Sally, even going so far as to buy her a birthday gift. And when she did so, she left it in the room, wrapped for Sally, left the house, came back later that day, and the gift was outside of the box, without the box having been touched. You're right. right? So whatever's here, it's historically, able. has the power to translate things. What? In, in a weirdly non-physical explanation. We're just talking about asking Sally questions. <gasps> and this is at the it's bottom an, of the stairs. It's an oh. eight ball. Oh my god! It's an eight ball. We oh my god! With, it, we, we need to talk to Sally. Yo, what if we do the Essence method and also that at the same time and see if the answers line up? Oh, let's that's do it. dude. I don't think that's ever been done. No, but, and you know what? Like, people are gonna say this is bullshit, but, like, what if it works? Oh, I want to find out. Why would she pick all of the toys? Why would she pick this one? Keep in mind, it's either Sally or it's whatever's in the basement that's trying to talk to us. Oh my god, dude. I don't, like, I don't know what to even think about that. Uh, oh, shit! Fuck. Holy fuck! That was the door. That was the door. Right. Somebody's at the door. There's, there's gotta be somebody outside. That's definitely Hello? someone at the door. Hello? There's nobody at the door, guys. No fucking way. There's nobody at the fucking door, guys. Is there... Hello? There's nobody at the door. Hello? No one's gonna believe this. What my heart. Fuck? You can see it right there. Dude, there's oh no my god, there's people outside. There is? Where, where? 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 They're, they're where? out at the front by the by the I sidewalk. Oh, see? really? Was yeah, it like a ding-dong it's, ditch thing? It's fans. Hour. You, you scared you the living scared the shit out of yeah. us. Oh, okay. wait. My children made me drive an hour to stalk you guys. And how long have you guys been here? Because we've been here in some weird. Like, uh, did you guys just pull up? They knocked on the door just an hour ago. An hour ago? Yes, I was like, just no knock on the door. I'm cold. I want to go home. Okay, so like I'm saying, if that bounced downstairs we would hear it, unless we were screaming, right? That would be the only time that we would not hear the eight ball go downstairs because that has to make so much noise. <laughs> to update everybody, guys, we are arguing with each other. We are calling each other calling liars. Yes, Nate, gonna... wait, tell, tell what you just <laughs> yeah, said. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be so honest right now. You think it was Sam? Well, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> Sam, Sam's been one of my brothers. We are for arguing like... with each other. <laughs> Sam's been one of my brothers for seven years and I straight up just called him out and told him I think he put the ball downstairs. Like that's how I went He just called me a liar because oh, of how because Sam had to go downstairs and grab something the for the Estes method. Wait, hold on, hold, hold on. Like, let's let's just think about this. Look at where we found the ball. It was off to the right of the bottom step, right? Correct. Like, Sam wouldn't even think to look there. He only figured out that it was there when he came back after looking at the backpack. You're right. Because I That's went true. down and got there through the backpack and turned around and it was there. He might have got. Touch the bed. Does no. it? You just might have got too close Maybe to it. Just <laughs> how that thing works is it got to. Wait, wait, no! It just went off again. There's an eight ball. That's going up again. Oh, 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 o
doing? I'm tired of this. Dude, go home. the Sally House is breaking up our friendships right now. God hey, dang it. Are we still taking the eight ball for the Estes method? Yes. Okay, yes, we have to. Let's fucking get some but okay, food. you know it wasn't me or Nate because we were upstairs in this room the entire time waiting for the Estes but method. But Nate was the guy that went down to get the Estes method in the first place. I so it was you, Nate. Right? It was for you, Nate. Was <laughs> Look, 100%, I have no incentive to... Oh, oh, oh it's going off again. Dude. I've been standing next to Sam this whole time. Wait, this thing is feeding on our... Wait, I was going to say, right I think it's getting more energized Wait, as we are. This Eight thing ball. would have crashed in that wall and made it such a louder so noise. So loud. So we loud. Somebody would have had to take this down and put it right there, for sure. There's no way that noise Unless would have been the same. it happened right when the knocks and the laughing were happening. Those fans were just outside, you know? Okay. So maybe they came up and knocked, and that's what freaked us out. But they and said they had knocked right then and an hour before. Yeah, we weren't even, like, here an hour ago. We yeah. went out to eat yeah. dinner. We probably got back right out Dude, of she said an hour ago, but it could have been hyperbole, you know? She might have been like, oh, no, but that was only, like, five minutes. So you think the knocking we heard was, or do you think the laugh we heard was the fans? All I'm saying is when we all jumped, Seth was seated, and he jumped going that way. He could have he could have kicked the ball, and the ball might have had time to roll all the way down the steps while we were up here going, oh, fuck! But no, yeah, that's I, what I'm no, saying. No, no, the no, only no. opportunity for to go down is when we're screaming. No, but that's the thing. If the ball was already down there, I would have no reason to be... Guys, we don't believe each other. Yeah. We're breaking up friendships. Comment down below what you believe, because we, we are freaking like, I don't know. We're about not to be friends. Yeah, anymore. we're gonna hate each other. I think. Let's do the SS method. What? Let's, oh, do, let's do the SS method. This is the last video we're ever doing together. Wait, 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 wait. we got, wait, let's wait, go. What? Just Can you guys hug it out? We're breaking up any friendships here. They're, They're like, like, it was fucking you, it was fucking you, bitch. Jesus. Fuck you, mate, you piece of shit. Sam comes and hugs you and goes, you're a liar. That's what Are we all friends again? For now. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Holy shit! Oh my god! So we are here in the master bedroom. Lots of activity here in the closet. So we stuck a music box towards the closet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask yes or no questions. I'm gonna be listening for specifically yes or no questions, and he's gonna be lining them up with whatever the eight ball is. Every question. If we're saying the same things, obviously that means it's not really a coincidence. It's not just a random eight ball. It's an eight ball that has lived in one of the most haunted rooms in America. Yeah. And it might have just moved on us. Yeah, I mean, or really Sally happen. just wanted to point it out, like, use this. He's down under, so go for it. Alrighty, if there is something in this house, did you translate the eight ball downstairs? It says, ask again later. Is Sally the one that moved the eight ball down the stairs? Yes. Yes. Nothing from Sam. Is there multiple spirits here talking to us? What the hell? Yeah, sometimes you gotta- They're check. separate. <laughs> They're separate? This says, it is certain. He said, it's separate. They're separate and it is certain. So maybe that means there's multiple spirits. If the spirits are separate, is one of them a malevolent mother spirit? Ooh. Very doubtful. Very doubtful. And he didn't even answer. You already know. Is there any evil spirits in the house? As I see it, yes. Well, yeah. <sighs> Is there a spirit in the basement that is dangerous? It is decidedly yes. so. You said what? It is decidedly so. At multiple the same times. time. Yes. And guys, he's shaking it multiple times because it lands it's on its side. side. Was the medium that we brought to the house right? Are there multiple evil spirits in the basement? See, it's landing on its side. We kind of have to like no. shake it. No, what's that say? This says yes. Yes. So that was against each other. Do you want to harm us or hurt us tonight? Seven. Seven? This is, my reply is no. But we have heard seven a lot in the Estes. Yeah, really loud. This one says no, but this says, or, or do you want to hurt us tonight? Probably. Dude, Seth's just nose is right already there. bleeding. Are you the spirit that made my nose bleed? Signs point to yes. Do you want us to leave this room to get better communication? Outlook not so good. Thanks for letting me talk. Huh? Oh, it might just be like, yeah, I'm done. Thanks for letting me talk. Speak! Oh, nope, nope, nope. That was perfect though with what we were saying. Is there an evil entity in the basement? Better not tell you now. Better not tell you now. Yes. Oh my God. You know what it might mean? 
Think about it. What are the two narratives we're working with here? One of them is that it's the same entity that's trying to trick us downstairs. The other one is that Sally... No, no, no. And the other one is that Sally is a little girl. Oh, and that a... made him stop. Let's just explain that. So here's the breakdown, right? We've been asking these questions, and a few of them line up that are very obvious. Like, yes, there's something in here that wants to talk to us, right? That sort of thing. That's good. Here's what's interesting. The ones in which they're not lining up seem to suggest that there's two separate entities with two separate motives. Mm hmm Like, imagine one entity wanted to use the eight ball to communicate with us, but since there's multiple here, the other one was talking to you. Because there was somewhere this would blatantly say yes, and you would literally say no. If there's one entity at this house, like the anglerfish that uses Sally to lure us downstairs, it would be giving us square answers to try to get us to go downstairs. If there's two entities, one of them, Sally, who's separate from the malevolent entity, one would be trying to keep us up here, one would be trying to get us to go downstairs. Yeah. But guys, the reason why we did this is because we've never seen anybody ever use an eight ball for like evidence like this, and we wanted to just see if it would line up. So again, I don't know if that made any sense. Right, we're not trying to say that a fucking eight ball toy is legit ghost equipment. It's no. just very peculiar that we all had the experience where this random toy, of all the toys in that room, this is the one that we found at the bottom of the stairs. Why? Maybe we just try doing the Estes. I was gonna say, should we just try yeah, just normal? Stop this. Maybe that was a little change. Back. Yeah, it could be. You guys, again, we're just trying. Put that in the same spot you put it down oh, that one time. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I'm gonna put this ball so everybody knows, like right here. Same exact spot as I had it before. Right here. Right there. One more thing before you start. I have an idea. What if? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that thing being there. <laughs> Yeah. This was the most haunted item that the medium found with her little device. So why don't we just put this thing right here? Just uh, just to see. There's a lot of TV static. It sounds like Lacroix. Who are we talking to Eight. right now? Six. Six. Is there six of you in here? You. Six of us. Now there's only four. I just felt a really cold breeze. Voodoo. Voodoo. You were kids. Leaping! We cannot even get a fucking sentence out. Oh my god. What is going on? What, 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 we cannot what, even get like, what, a sentence out. We haven't said one thing. What are you, what's going on? This one's just scary, man. Dude, like, well, I'm, I'm not like, even lying. Dude, 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 I'm sorry. Dude. Dude, no, it's just No, it's good. it's all good. Dude, yeah. the reason I took it off is it, it, it was just like... <gasps> What? Like the static stopped and it was just a clean inhale. You guys want to go back in? Ready for more? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Let's yeah. get it. Jesus. Save. What? Do you need Jesus to save you? Or do you protect- or Come do you, back! You rely on Jesus to save you and you want him to come back. Blood. Or, Jesus. Move. Move. Do you want us to leave the Yes! Room? You want to go, us to go to the basement? Down. Down where? Half. Music. Music. Stereo was in the, the living room. Do you want us to go yeah. in the- Yeah, that room? So should we go down in that room? We talking to Sally, maybe? She liked that, right? Oh. Yes. <gasps> no way. Sally, is this you? Yes. Oh my. Sally, you're not the only one we're talking to, huh? There's fire. Fire, that's always here. Sally, have you been seeing a bunch of fire around the house? Is somebody else setting fires? I want to take you. What? That sounds very demonic. Sally, are you the only one talking to us right now? Is there other people here? Yes. <gasps> Yeah, that's what okay, I thought. multiple people. Yeah. Are you guys good? Fall. Are the other spirits good? Down. Leave. There's no Four. good spirits? Four. Four good spirits. They come. Good spirits. Come. Where? Where are the good spirits at? Or is he talking four of us? Oh, Can you believe? You're right, you're right. That's probably right. We can't believe that you put the eight ball downstairs. Sally, was that you? Did you put the eight ball downstairs? Too much? Dude, yeah, that's freaky, man. In order to follow the trail, the eight ball and this both aimed downstairs. I don't know if it directly in the basement or in the living room, so probably where the stereo's at. Yeah, let's try. Music box. It's been on the entire time. You guys saw it when I went in the closet for a second. How did it go off right there like that, and now it's just quiet this entire time? Exactly. It just debunks anything saying it's malfunctioning. It's literally picking up something. 
because we just talked to Sally, I forgot to mention something about Mr. Pickman's first sighting of Sally and what she actually looks like. On the morning of Halloween 1993, Tony came into the kitchen and saw a full translucent apparition of a little girl. She had brown hair and large blue eyes that widened in surprise when she recognized that Tony could see her. And then Tony rushed out of the room in shock. So like he actually saw Sally with his own eyes. And there's a drawing of her. Little girl with brown hair and blue eyes. Also, while Tony was living here, he would have been dragged out of his bed by the wrist and then when he looked at his skin he would see red inflamed burn marks the size and shape of a small child's hand. See this is what I'm saying like this spirit or whatever has the ability to actually move pull things you. and pull and scratch. So later on while Tony lived here he began to see a second spirit in the house. He thought it was Deborah at first which is his wife but it was an unknown woman dressed in all black. He followed her into a room and the door slammed shut behind him. The woman then pointed at him and a black bird appeared on her finger. The room began to violently shake and Tony felt like he was choking. Then the woman disappeared. The Pikmin soon moved out of the house that after that. It's fucking terrifying. Yeah. Wait, that sounds Think like a hallucinatory panic attack. Earlier today, Murray upstairs was saying that there was a black figure that ran downstairs away from us and then slammed the door. So maybe that could have been the same thing. All right, there's one more story we want to talk about. This has a little surprise in it. The Pikmins obviously lived here. Upstairs in the nursery, they had their child there. Now that is where Sally ended up playing around a lot. And the Pikmins kid also got pushed, scratched, all that good stuff. One day, they were having a birthday party for the Pikmins child right here. And during that birthday party, they were setting up, all the other kids are over here, and on the table alone, all the candles from the birthday cake lit on fire without anyone around. What? No, Lit on fire. Way. Bro, that matches that like spot burning that Johnny was telling us about. The yeah. localized fires. Like yeah. fires just appear in this house often. When we were talking about that, I first heard that. We had the idea. What if we re-throw a birthday party for Sally? Yeah. What? As creepy as that is, she's a child. She likes birthday parties. She obviously has messed with candles and birthdays prior. So we ordered a cake. <laughs> we ordered a cake. A what? And we're going to throw a birthday party. Are yes, you down with this? No! Why not? Oh, come on. Come this is on. the perfect way to, to get Sally to talk to us. Like, she wants to be involved with a little birthday party. Well, my question oh. is, Sally, how's birthday party? Do yeah. we, wait, do we eat the cake, though? Mmm. Because I don't know if we eat uh, hot Sally cake. You don't want to or you I do. don't know if I want to eat Sally. What like are you looking at, Seth? You're, you're, uh... I'm just contemplating life. I'm about to throw a birthday party to the ghost. Turn this off if you're ready to have a great birthday party. In three, two, one. Oh my Thank god. Thank you. See, bro, why are things suddenly responding to me? I feel like the last three nights, nothing's been responding to me. You know what, bro? I finally started yeah. believing in it. You broke your it. connection. You, you have it. unlocked spiritual connection. Look, we got her name written on it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pull, pull off the fabric, Jeez, bro. Look at that. HBD salad! We actually went to the store and got a happy birthday cake for a demon child. Yeah. Yep, okay, well. Are you excited? If you are, can you please turn this flashlight off for us? And we'll sing a happy birthday. Three, two, one, Sally, go! Oh! Oh my god! That was cool, bro! That's, that's crazy. I didn't think it was gonna respond Cause you were so fast with so it. Three, two, one, Sally, go! So how many candles should we put? Like six, right? Six, yeah. Or is it her six. seventh birthday? Oh, she was six. Maybe this is her seventh? I like Wait, that. Wait, but the question is, are we going off of her human years, or are we going off of her, like, spirit years? Well, we don't have 106 candles. That's so. a good point. So she's seven. <laughs> you did say, or it was one of you said seven <gasps> upstairs. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. That just agrees. And again, guys, the only reason why we're doing this is because we heard that Sally responds to multiple things of child activities. So that's why she's probably playing with all those toys. Maybe like the eight ball. She's probably going to respond to having a birthday. Like every kid likes yeah. the birthday stuff. This is like a trigger object, except it's like a trigger event. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trigger event. But speaking of, before we light the candle, let's all just invite Sally. Like, I think we should really think. Yeah, let's try to. Focus, Sally, if you're in this house, if you're upstairs right now, we wanted to throw you a little birthday party. Heard it's your seventh birthday. Whoa. So, what? <laughs> oh, did you guys just get like a wave of hotness? I'm like sweating yeah. now. Really? Are you good? The heater might have kicked on. But I've been cold this entire time. Sally, come downstairs. We have, a, we have some cake for you. It's your favorite. How do you know it's your favorite? 
It's the thought that counts, Sally. These trigger events are oh. now a Sam and Colby special. Da -da -da. That's actually pretty rough. <laughs> Seriously, I've never lit the candles on a ghost girl's birthday cake before, so. I don't think many people have. Dude, Boy. my heart started beating, like, fast as soon as he did that. 115, dude. Jesus. Do you see that? It's past midnight, too. Oh my god, this is so <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Holy Sally. wait, guys. Birthday seance. Oh my god. Is that a thumbnail? I'm just saying, this is the creepiest <laughs> birthday I've ever seen in my life. We just want to say, we will invite you to come hang out with us at the birthday party. We got a chair for you. All we want to come sit. Yeah, you can sit right here, actually. So yeah, we're going to sing you happy birthday. We'd love if you come blow the candles out for us. That'd be super cool. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. What the f- What the f- Wait, wait, wait. Eight ball, eight ball, eight ball. Look! Dude, 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 It happened again, it happened again. Uh, wait, no. We, Seth, we put that in Sally's room. It's on camera, dude. I... Dude, the, 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 the sound, the, the sound, dude, wait, the sound wait, was wait. on. That was, what the, I'm fucking shaking, dude. How do you, wait. how do you explain that? Bro. A hundred percent, I got it on camera, putting it in. Yes, we put it in the exact same spot. That, that actually just, that just fell in front of our eyes. Okay, wait, 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 wait where did Nate go? He just left, we need to go again. Nate. 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 Hang on, hang on, I'll go get him, I'll go get him. What? Hey, what well, actually though? The... That means the first time it actually yes, that happened. That, dude, that proves the first time. This I wasn't might, fucking this lying. This might be the craziest thing we've ever got on dude, camera. Dude, by far. What the fuck? Yo. Nate, come back. Wait, okay, wait. Think logically for two seconds. Is there any way that actually could have happened? Where'd you put it? In the I room? I it on camera. In the room. Because it happened the first time. It's in Sally's room by then the chair. Then there's no way. By the chair. Then there's no way. Because we were all right there. Oh. Yo, are you good? Are you good? No, man, that's fucking insane. Yes, I know, and I, I wasn't lying to you. That happened the first time, too. That's what I'm saying. This shit is real. You believe I don't, this no, shit is I real. Don't, dude, I don't do this shit, okay? I'm not, I, but like, do you, how do you like, explain like, You that, guys dude. do this shit? That's not me, man. Like, I, I don't... Can you come look at this real quick and tell me dude, how no, how it could be debunked? Wait, let me show you where, I'm let just, me show you where I put it. I'm just saying, I, as a skeptic, like, this is important. Dude, I... This just happened. We need, we need to talk. Dude, about it was in Sally's that. room. Look, look. I, I'll show you where I put it. Are you, are you going to Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look. The first time, the first time it landed right here. Dude, that eight ball was in Sally's room. And it oh, sounded she, so much louder. Wait, that, wait, 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 wait. We were asking her to come down. Were we not? You're we right. were asking her to come down. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And look, just so you guys can see, we didn't fucking move. Oh god, anything? Look, look, look! I'll show you. It was you. like right around here, this. right? I filmed. No, no, no. Dude, dude, right dude, 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 dude. That's is that system. motion? It's you? Motion okay, it's you. I put this right here. Seth and I put it right here. I got him on camera it's doing it. On that. camera, bro. And that's where you put it the last time, right? Yes. And so that means the first time that we heard the knocks, it actually could have been knocks. And not this thing rolling down the stairs. But how did we not hear it the first time? Because we heard that clear as day this time. That's what I'm saying. It was probably not. There is no the way. Wait, guys, look at this. Wait, one no second, dude. No one's gonna fucking believe. No one's this, gonna dude. believe that. This is look at this. Wait, was it stand away? Okay, look at that. That's what ten feet, maybe eight feet, eight feet, all the way, dude, all the way. You down can't here. even see. Like, wouldn't you think? Like, there was like a. Uh, that's just Here. us. Like, wouldn't you think there would be like a roll? See how my fingers make kind of like a... Then how did it happen the first time? I mean, it probably wouldn't drag like that. Can we show this? Yeah, there's there's no like drag. Yeah, but the, the eight ball was heavier. heavier? What the fu- where'd Nate go? I think Is he, he good? Back Yo, Nate. <laughs> but are, are you good though? Like no, you- I'm, Dude, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. It's just like... That just, Does that that's make that's you believe or bro, what, bro? I, 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 like, I, I, come I, on, I, I, tell I, me that's I, fucking I, I, fake I, I, now. How did that happen? I, don't, I, I honestly feel like I just had my first beer. Like, that, I feel like a bitch right now. That happened twice. 
Yes, dude. That's the best part. That was the best, that was the best, best part. That was the best because it wasn't part. once. It was twice. Dude, you can't honestly. You cannot tell me that that shit's fake now. Like, like you no, can't, you I'm can't. Like, the camera's probably shaking the entire time because it's me too. Like, I don't understand that. <laughs> what? Like, all right, I was, I was freaked out and kind of scared when it, when I first heard whatever that was coming down. The I stairs. thought it was Knox again for more of the yeah, fans. Yeah. This is everything we wanted. I thought, I thought it was fans too. I thought it was fans too. And then I thought it was someone coming down the stairs. Like, I dude, was, what the fuck? <laughs> it it, prob it like, probably was. Uh, no, I wait, no, thinking. think about what you just said. That was probably Sally coming down the fucking stairs. Oh my wait. god. Wait, like, dude, what the fuck? So you believe? What do you think? <laughs> what the fuck? I can't do this anymore, bro. I can't. Shut what the up. fuck? Yo! I don't know. I don't Dude, know. See, this is the thing. We were we were freaked out at first. Wait, we're... let's. Can we go back inside? Yeah, there's, there's so many cars yeah. and shit like that. <sighs> like, wait. Oh, fuck. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, are we good? Oh, fuck, fuck. Okay. Do we, do we blow that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Shit. dude, it like melted into the cake. Listen, man, had a little bit of a, a, a lot of spirit. Wait, 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 wait. Don't! No, 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 no. You heard that? Upstairs. Yeah. Again. Oh, fuck off. Are Swear to god, it's a shuffling this time though. It wasn't footsteps. Did you hear that? Yeah. Can we turn some lights on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys, you guys want to turn some lights on? Because did you set it on the on the on the flat? Did we show you? Yes, yeah. Put it on the flat side. It's on camera, bro. Yeah, 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 I, I remember it being in the place. I just don't know if it was on the flat side again. It was on the flat it side. It was. I promise. It was we on did the that flat so side. it wouldn't roll. Which means something. Then that just doesn't make no, any no, no, sense. No. It literally means something had to take it and push it. And it's not a like a. AC like, would like, not do like that. you were saying, it's not like one of those inflatable balls. Sorry, I want to record this. You were just saying it's not one of those inflatable balls. It's like one of the the heavy balls. It's it's yeah, like it's an like eight, eight ball. Counter. Like you know, like well, it's actually thick. No, honestly, like you go get no no fucking around. Did one of you guys set it? Dude, I have it on camera. No, we reset it to the exact same you spot. You have it on camera, like, but yes. no, I mean like between you setting it and like. Think about it like this, dude. Even if we set it at the top of the stairs, how would it get pushed over and fall down? But right? Think about like, how what? long it's been fucking sitting up there yeah, without that's the thing. any that's, movement. That's the thing. We did that. We've been we've birthday. been down here yeah. for like yeah, like yeah, thirty that's, minutes. That's the... Dude, what do you guys? What do you? No, no, you guys said that shit. You can't. Why would you do I'm, that? If you're still saying I'm lying after that, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying that was a lie. All right, guys. So it's been about. What, 30, 45 minutes maybe? Probably 45, yeah. It's past 1 a.m. And uh, we still have, we've, we've talked about this for the last 30 minutes and we, we just don't, we have no explanation for it. More so, I don't have an explanation for it twice. <laughs> we just keep talking in circles when we have this conversation. You're either gonna believe it or you're not. You know? it's, it's so, it's so unexplainable. I know where I put that ball. Well, that's how this sort of thing, it seems like it always happens. You, you, you reach the end of your logic where paradox begins and you just start circling around. The medium said the scariest place was the basement and we still haven't investigated that spot. Apparently, it's not safe to go down to the basement for some reason. So we've got to make that quick. But we thought that, you know, she's saying that that is where this energy for poltergeist thing is. We might as well do that as our last little investigation. You, you guys ready? Down? Oh, dudes, I'm gonna let you guys do this one. That was like, for me, that was like the eight ball rolling down the steps twice. It was enough, like I'm sold on it. You say the word, I'm down those steps in a heartbeat, but as far as investigation goes, like I'm, I'm chilling. I'll just like stay up deck and watch up here. I mean, dude, we just had that shit happen. That freaked you the fuck out, man. I can tell. Like, hey, okay, what? Yeah, that it was actually a freaky. It was a little freaky. <laughs> You'd be freaked too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you would. And you guys are out. actually maybe that works out in our favor. What if you guys keep an eye on what happens up here and then we go down? I mean, we don't even have to be long down there. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we like, just want to see if we can capture what she was seeing. I don't even know if we need to bring like a lot of equipment and stuff like that. I just want to go down there and see like if something wants to do something. Give it the opportunity, and because we've talked about going down there, just see what happens. Yeah. So you want to hit it raw? I want to hit it raw from the back doggy style, bitch. If something goes wrong, we're downstairs in a heartbeat. Cool. Yes. Cool. 
Before we go down there, I just want to say again, like this video if you're enjoying it. Again, we just captured maybe the best piece of evidence we've ever captured. Ever. Yeah. This gets 300,000 likes. We'll do another house in the Midwest like this. I like these haunted houses. Yeah. They're like homey, but also their stories. It's like haunted homey. Airbnb. Yes. Subscribe while you're at it. I know the viewers want to see us go down there because we hyped it up so much. So let's just go. Also, did you scratch yourself right here? I'm not even kidding. Like right here. See it right there? Is that like three scratches? Wait, it is? Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Like right there, one, two, three. You might have just done that by accident. Oh, look at my whole face. Your face is red as hell. Dude, this is a creepier like vibe than The Conjuring in my opinion. Uh, yeah, look at that. Like, look at that. She said she saw something pressed up against the wall back there, yeah. Okay, then we need to go in. <sighs> oh my god, it's so tiny in here. Damn, this place is so deep underground, you can see like the, the roots coming down. It's obviously like a room, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. the entrance was broken into. It must have been a secret room someone didn't want to find out. You know? Yeah, it's like they kept something here. I mean, there's obviously rumors of people that are doing demonic rituals down here that keep bodies or keep the things that they sacrificed. A lot of rumors of buried things in here. I don't know if we believe those, but that could be an option. How do you feel down here? Are you feeling anything? I still feel really hot, which I know it got colder down here. Your face is red as hell. If something is down here, please make yourself known. Been warned by many people not to be down here. We don't know why. If you wanted to show yourself, now would be the time. You good? Yeah, I just keep getting warmer and warmer. Should we stand on the pentagram? Why the fuck would we do that? Because you know that's what these viewers want. <laughs> All they want to do is see us suffer. <laughs> Could a medium tell us that there's an evil spirit here? Something that is able to touch, physically move things. I don't believe that. I want you to prove to me that you're down here. You move something here in this room? Can you touch me? You prove your existence once and for all. Yeah, if you don't want people coming to your house anymore, why don't you show them a reason why? Make something happen. Show the world right now that you can cause some damage if you really wanted to. We obviously know something upstairs, but apparently energy number fours are down here. So make yourself known. We're standing on the pentagram. Use the energy from our devices. I have my phone on me. You can take it from the camera if you want. Yo, I just got the same fucking wave. All I do know is I don't want to leave um, Nate and Seth for too long. I, I think we did exactly what the people want to see. Like, we stood in the pentagram, asked it to do, and it just isn't there. Something's upstairs, Some all of our equipment was working, but something down here is not willing to fucking possess us or anything like that. <sighs> well, it's not locked. How was it up here, guys? Nothing to report. I don't know whether it's just like we've been investigating for like 10 hours or 12 hours, but I got some really weird headaches down there. But other than that, nothing got, got moved or touched or anything like that. Oh, it's starting, bro. It's starting right now. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see that zoomed in, but the top half right there, I'll just throw a picture of it from when it was. What does that even mean? That's super cool. I've never seen it. Is that like some sort of, could that affect like yes. haunting general? Maybe that like made this not as haunted, made you know? not as haunted? All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed our stay here at the Sally House. I genuinely think this is one of, if not the best physical evidence of the paranormal we've got. And you got to experience yeah. it as one of your first times. And it was borderline religious. I know we always say this, but that is the reason why we're doing this paranormal yes. stuff. Like I feel like it, it really makes you think different. We just want to show that there's something else out there, no matter what you believe in. All I say, man, reason is a straight jacket, bro. Sometimes you got to break free.
Damn, like that's quote, actually quote, quote, really quote Hardy, man. Damn, put that on a piece of merch. Speaking of, get the freaking merch before it's all sold out. Shopexplore.com. Do it. Also, make sure to go check out these guys. We'll have all their links down below. Leave a like on this video. If it gets 300,000 likes, we'll do another Midwestern scary house. And also subscribe while you're at it because it takes two seconds. Just do it. Hopefully you have a good rest of the year. If you don't remember, we are going to be starting seasons in 2022. Season one, Sam and Colby is coming in February, so get ready. Make sure you subscribe with those notifications on. You are not going to want to miss this next level content. <gasps> with that being said, we will see you in the next one. So adios. Peace. <laughs>